Latest on the German Wings plane that crashed in the French Alps. Investigators are going through that second black box right now. The data revealing new details about what the co pilot did in those final seconds before intentionally crashing the plane. ABC's David Curley is here with the very latest. Good morning, David. Morning, Larry. This is chilling. This second black box data confirms what investigators heard in the other recording. The co-pilot was alive at the controls and sending that aircraft into the ground with all 149 in the cabin unable to stop him. With the captain locked out of the cockpit, Andreas Lubitz turned the autopilot from 38,000 feet all the way down to 100 feet, putting the plane in that steep descent. Alarms go off, and he actually increased the speed twice to keep that jetliner diving into the French Alps. Investigators learned that from this mangled black box, which they are still studying. From German authorities this morning, disturbing additional evidence of Lubitz's plan. On his tablet found in his apartment, online searches the week before the crash for medical treatments, ways to commit suicide, and cockpit door security. Videos of that easily found online. This code pad provides increased security levels. French investigators say they have also collected 42 cell phones, most damaged significantly. But could those phones contain text messages, final words to loved ones, even video of the final moments of that flight? And those damaged cell phones are now being probed at a lab outside of Paris. This latest information just solidifying the French authorities' belief that the co-pilot was conscious all the way to the ground, intentionally killing all 150 people on board. Lara. So tragic, David. Thank you so much.